传统治疗癌症的方法是杀死癌细胞，但你知道有个技术能把癌细胞变回成正常细胞吗？美国美约诊所的研究人员发现，有个办法能把潜在的癌症细胞恢复成正常细胞。And it's、uh, important because it's going to change the way that we think about cancer progression. For years, we have been studying adhesion molecules. Adhesion molecules, everybody thought, were acting as a glue that holds the cells together. But、uh, it was becoming clear,、uh, probably about ten years ago, that they having other very important roles, especially signaling roles, and they're playing an important role when they're deregulated in driving tumorigenesis. 根据医学专家介绍，当人体中的这种连附蛋白质被破坏掉后，人体内的微型核糖核酸也会被打乱序列，最终就会使得人体细胞失去控制的生长。所以，医学专家认为，如果把癌细胞中被打乱的微型核糖核酸重新恢复功能，就能抑制不正常的癌细胞的生长。What we found is that the adhesion molecules are forming very specific structures that are、uh, connecting the cells. And they're signaling through molecules that are called microRNAs. Those microRNAs、uh, signal in a way that uh, uh, regulates a whole program that drives cell growth. 由于微型核糖核酸中的特定子序列可以抑制细胞的生长，所以研究人员在实验室实验中努力尝试把癌症细胞中的微型核糖核酸控制在一定的量，这样可以抑制不正常细胞的增生。We also have found that by regulating These microRNAs that are deregulated by giving them back into the cancer cells, we can effectively reprogram them to become and behave as normal. So we can take very aggressive tumor cells that are growing and and migrating, replenish them with the microRNAs that are that are deregulated, and that effectively turns them into normal cells. 在初步的实验室实验中，研究人员成功的把乳癌、肺癌和膀胱癌细胞变成良性细胞，这是一个值得惊喜的结果。据医学专家介绍，癌症研究人员还必须做更多的研究和实验，才能正式的使用在病人身上。据悉，这个技术不仅可以治疗癌症，也可以帮助医生更好诊断病情。The other thing is, a lot of people、uh, have biopsies, and we have question about whether. They have cancer or not? You know, it's、uh, there are premalignant lesions that people have. So what、uh, we can do is we believe that deregulation of this particular adhesion、uh, signaling is going to be consistent with cancer. So we believe that we will have a diagnostic that very easily can tell you if a, a lesion, a biopsy, is actually a cancerous or not、uh, lesion. 据悉，目前这项研究被发表在《Nature Cell Biology》杂志中，被称为“料想不到的生物技术”，像是一种软体，可以把癌症关掉。这项研究未来或许有助于减少死于癌症的人数。